Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about cosmetic items and I want to explain what are, in my opinion, the 10 best cosmetic items you can either farm or craft in order to make millions of gold in Dragonflight. For those of you who are not really familiar with these different items, basically cosmetic items are items that anyone can use. So whether you're playing on a play character, or you're playing on a cloth character, you will be able to equip these different items. The only exception, of course, is for the different weapons. You will need to, for instance, be able to equip Warglaives in order to equip this type of weapons. But for the armor pieces, anyone can use them, and this is why these different items are so good. Also, since patch 10.0.5, you are able to use all the different white and gray quality items as transmog items, and this includes all the different white and gray cosmetic items so we have a lot of these different items as you can see and there are some of them that are absolutely incredible just before i start diving into the top 10 if you have any doubt in terms of how well this can sell i would encourage you to go watch some of my mailbox openings because you will see that i've been able to make most of my goals in the past few months on these different cosmetic items Okay, so let's start at number 10. And at number 10, we're gonna have a pair of engineering goggles that you can craft very easily. These are the authentic junior engineer goggles. As you can see, these look pretty nice. And again, this is something that anyone can use. So these are very easy to craft. All you wanna do is have engineering and go in any of the main capitals to then find the engineer trainer with Cataclysm and you just want to learn and normally I think it just requires one or a little bit more. So this is something that you should be able to get very easily. When it comes to the cell rate, it's 0 0.08, which is really good. And then as you can see on average on European Realms, you can easily sell it for five to 8,000 gold on average and on US Realms for 4.9 to 4.8 thousand gold on average. And keep in mind, it will only require you a few things that will cost less than 100 gold to actually craft this item. Then at number nine, we're gonna have the three jewelers monocles from jewel crafting. As you can see, first you have this one right here, the blue version, then you have the yellow version, and finally the red version. In order to craft these different items, you will need to have jewel crafting with cataclysm. And the hardest part, let's say, is to actually get your hands on the different designs. So these are BOE items that you can buy from the auction house. But if you want to try and farm them yourself, what you'll have to do is to basically kill all the different world bosses from Cataclysm, or also sometimes if you get lucky, it might drop from random creatures again from Cataclysm. The different world bosses that can drop these different BOE designs are Gar, that is located just here in Mount Ijol. Then you have Akamat, located just here in Uldum. Then in the middle, in the Maelstrom, you will have Xariona, who is circling all around. And then in the Eastern Kingdom, you will have, of course, Mobus here in the Abyssal Death in Vashir. And finally, you will have Julak Doom, who is located just here in uh, the Twilight Islands. Again, keep in mind, this is really difficult to actually get. And also, these world bosses are not always up. So then I would say the best way is probably just by buying them from the auction house, but again, sometimes it can cost a little bit of gold. As you can see on some realms though, you can easily find them for less than 10,000 gold. So it really depends and it's up to you to see how you want to acquire these different designs. In terms of sell rate and value, the one with the best sell rate is the Ruby Monocle. It has a 0.08 of sell rate, which is really good. And then as you can see, the average value on European realms is 45,000 gold. And then on US Realms, it's 15,000 gold. Then after that, we have the Sapphire Monocle with a 0.07 of sell rate and a regional average value of 50,000 gold on European Realms. And then on US Realms, it's also 15,000 gold. And then finally, you have the Ember one. It's only 0.04 of sell rate with a regional value of 44,000 gold on European Realms and then 15,000 gold on average on US Realms. After that, at number eight, we're gonna have the Blood Elf Bandit Mask. As you can see, this is a pretty cool headpiece and again, something that anyone can use. So this one is dropping from a rare in the Azure Miss Isle. 
And as you can see, you can get it in different type of eye levels depending on which character you're killing the rare and getting the headpiece with. As you can see, this item has a 12% chance of dropping from the Blood Elf Bandit rare and this rare can spawn in all these different locations. So this is something that can be a little bit tricky to find. But again, if you manage to kill him a few times, probably you will be able to get one of these headpieces at some point. When it comes to the value and the set rate, on average, the set rate is 0.08 for this one, which is pretty good. And then on European realms, it's going to be between 30 to 75,000 gold, depending on the eye level of your mask. And then on North American realms, between 20 to 50,000 gold as well. After that, at number 7, we're going to have the Formal Dengue. Formal Dengue is this nice chess piece that you can again use on any characters and this is something that sells really well for a lot of gold. So this one as you can see I sold it 3 times already for 1 million gold on average on this realm and I still have some available. So this is definitely something that can sell, it just takes a little bit of time. In order to get this item, you will be able to buy it directly from this vendor right here, Genia Sun Shadow, that is located in Moonglade, just here. The only tricky part is the fact that this is a really rare spawn, so this is not always available, and as soon as someone buys it, then it resets the timer, and I think it's a couple of months. So it means that per year on your realm, there's only a few people that will be able to actually find it, on the vendor and then buy it. This is why the value is so high on this item. When it comes to the actual value and sell rate, so the sell rate is only 0 0.012, which is not really good, but again, it's because this item is super expensive. As you can see, the average value on European realms is 870,000 gold, and on US realms, it's 1 million gold. And again, as you've seen, I've been able to sell it on multiple realms for anywhere between 500,000 gold to 1 million gold. One thing I would recommend you to do for this one is actually to try and simply find it as at a very cheap price on the auction house and then flip it because it's really difficult to actually farm it yourself. There are people who are farming it all the time. So what you can do again is very simple. Just try to wait for the value to drop and then buy it when it's lower than 300,000 gold or something like that. And then most likely you will be able to sell it for more. Again, it depends a lot on which realm you're playing on and on the competition. If you're playing on a high pop realm and you see that there is only one available for 300,000 gold, I would recommend you to buy it and then to post it back for 1 million. It will definitely take some time, but you will probably be able to sell it. If you're playing on a very, very low pop realm, it's a little bit more risky. And also if you see that there are three or four available, it's again a little bit more risky. So it's really up to you. But this is personally how I've been able to make some gold with this item, never by actually finding it at the vendor, even though I tried. After that, we're going to have the square holders. This item has been added in patch 10.0.7. And as you can see, this is something you will be able to craft with jewel crafting. In order to get your hands on the recipe, you can either again buy it directly from the auction house. But as you can see, it will be a little bit expensive on most realms. Or you can try your luck and try to get it yourself. So in order to get it, what you'll have to do is go in Zul Farak. And you will have to kill the last optional boss, Gazrilla. And this boss will have a chance at dropping this recipe. Of course, for you to have a chance at actually getting the design in the first place, you will need to first complete this achievement right here, the Relics of a Fallen Empire. And like that, you will have a chance at getting some of these ancient plans and recipes from Zulgurub and also from Zulfarak. The average sell rate for this item is 0.09, which is really nice. And the average value on European realms is 29,000 gold to 263,000 gold. And on US realms, 25 to 23,000 gold. And again, keep in mind, it only costs you less than 500 gold to craft each of these items. So on average, you should be able to make a lot of profit. After that, at number 5, we're going to have the two rhinestone sunglasses. So first of all, we have the original one from Cataclysm, as you can see. And then we have the new version from Dragonflight. These two items sell really well. And as you can see on this run, for instance, I've been able to make a lot of gold with them. In order to craft them, you will need to get the designs. And again, you will need to be on a jewel crafter. 
For the rhinestone sunglasses from Cataclysm, it's very similar to the monocles. You will need to defeat all the different world bosses and you have a very, very small chance at actually dropping the design. Again, you can also decide to simply buy it from the auction house, but on most rooms, you will have to spend at least 500,000 gold minimum, which can be quite a lot. Then for the Dragonflight version, you will be able to get the recipes or the design in the Draconic recipe in a bottle when you are fishing in the Dragon House. And again, this is a BOE design, so you can also buy it from the auction house for on average 200,000 gold. When it comes to the Cellarate and the value for the rhinestone sunglasses, the original one, the Cellarate is 0.17, which is really good. And then the value is 47 to 120,000 gold on average on European realms. And then as you can see on North American realms, it's gonna be 30 to 68,000 gold. And keep in mind, on average, you will have to spend probably like 2,000 gold to actually craft one of these items. So you will still be able to make a lot of profit. Then for the other one, it's 0 0.16 in Cellarate, which is really good as well. And the value is 15 to 40,000 gold on average on European realms. And then on North Americans, it's 12 to 19,000 gold. And these ones are very cheap to craft. I believe it's less than 500 gold. After that, at number four, we're going to have the black tuxedo pants. So as you can see, this is a really cool looking leg piece. And again, this is something I talked about a lot in other videos. So this item, as you can see, I've been able to make again, millions and millions of gold with these different pants on this room, for instance, on average, 120,000 gold, some of them 190. I think the most expensive one I sold was 300,000 gold for only one. And then, as you can see, I'm still selling some of them for more than 185,000 gold, which is really, really good. In order to actually get your hands on these, unfortunately, these have been removed from the games. They were initially dropping from the Noble Garden event, but they have now been removed from the game, and you can only get the other versions of these different items. And the reason why this one is so expensive is because the only other cosmetic item that you can get is only available during the Noble Garden event. So if you missed this occasion and you're not playing on a cloth character, you will have to use this version in order to learn this appearance. So the only way for you to get your hands on some of these items is to buy them from the auction house and then resell them for profit. That's exactly what I do all the time. As you can see on many realms, whether it's on North American realms or European realms, you will be able to find some for less than 10,000 gold and here even for 400 gold. And keep in mind, some people discover some of these items all the time in their banks and they sell them for nothing. So you will still be able to find some of them. And again, these sell for a lot of gold. When it comes to the value and the sell rate, the sell rate on this item is 0 0.21, which is insanely good. And then the value on average on European realms is 100 to 115,000 gold. And then on North American realms, 58 to 81,000 gold. As you've seen, they do sell for a lot of gold. After that, at number three, we're gonna have more items that are very similar to the black tuxedo pants. And this time, these are the different dinner suits. As you can see, you have three different coloration, the red one, the purple one, and the blue one, and also all the different lovely dresses. So all these items have been also removed from the game and they were originally from the Love is in the Air event. Again, very similar, you can still get another version, but this version is binds when picked up and it's only available during the Love is in the Air event, so only two weeks in the year. These items are selling for a lot of gold and they're so, so good. As you can see, for instance, for the different dresses, so here on this realm, I sold many of them for 200,000 gold and really it's, again, selling super fast. And then for the dinner suits, it's even more than that. On average, I would say right now, you're probably selling them for anywhere between 300,000 gold to 400,000 gold. So for instance, on this realm only, as you can see, I sold a few of them for 475, 465, 237, 237. And here, as you can see, people are sometimes selling them for a very cheap price. So very easy to flip again if you have enough gold to actually invest in them. I would say that the more expensive ones are the dinner suits. The dinner suits are probably going to be in the range again of 300, 400,000 gold on average. When the lovely dresses can still be found for really, really cheap prices on many different auction houses. 
So again, your only way really to get your hands on some of these items is to buy them from the auction house when they are cheap. So as you can see, for instance, on European realms, you can still find some of these dinner suits for 99,000 gold. Sometimes you can even find them for less than that. Recently, there was, for instance, one posted for 400 gold. So just always have a look and sometimes you might find them for a very, very cheap price. Then on US realms for the different dinner suits, as you can see, you can even find some of them for like 10,000 gold. So trust me, you can find them when they're still cheap. Then for the dresses, as I mentioned, it's a little bit cheaper on many realms. As you can see, for instance, on European realms, it's going to be maybe 20,000 gold, 30,000 gold on many realms. And then on US realms, it's actually even less than that with 10,000 gold on most realms. So. Again, this is the only way for you to get your hands on them, but trust me, you will most likely be able to make a lot of profit with these items. And keep in mind, the next time the Love is in the Air event will be available is in February next year. So you will have time to actually sell them before that. When it comes to the sell rate and the value for the different dinner suits, it's probably going to be around 0.02 because again, these are very expensive. And for the different dresses, the best one is the black dress with 0.08. And then all the other ones are around 0.04 to 0.05. When it comes to the value for the different inner suits, again, it's probably going to be around 480,000 gold on average on European realms. And then on US realms, it's anywhere between 150 to 300,000 gold. And then for the different dresses, as you can see, it's anywhere between 160 to 190,000 gold on average. And again, on US realms, it's around 100,000 gold each. So still, you will be able to make a lot of gold with these items. Then at number two, we're going to have the very famous High Society Top Hat. So this is another item that you can craft from Cataclysm. And this time, this is linked to tailoring. This item is one of the best cosmetic items, I would say. As you can see, you will be able to sell it very easily. And for instance, on this realm only, I've been able to sell it for up to 185,000 gold. And most of the time, 14,000 gold. But still you will be able really to set it for a lot of gold on most realms. And these are very cheap to craft, probably again less than 1,500 gold per top hat. When it comes to how you can get the pattern in order to start crafting these different items, it's again very similar to the monocles and to the rhinestone sunglasses. You will need to kill the different world bosses in Cataclysm in order to have a chance at dropping the pattern. But of course, you can also decide to buy it directly from the auction house. Sometimes you can find some for 300,000 gold, sometimes even less. So it really, it's really up to you to see if you decide to spend some gold or if you prefer to try and farm it yourself. When it comes to the sell rate, it's 0 0.18 on this one. So usually you will be able to get a couple of sales per week. And then as you can see, the value is on average 78 to 127,000 gold on European realms and 28 thousand gold on north american rings and then at number one we're actually going to have an item that is not yet in the game and this is something that will only be available in patch 10.1.5 and this is the shroud of forbidden magic as you can see again this is a headpiece that anyone will be able to use and it looks really really nice it's not yet known how you will be able to actually get your hands on the pattern this will come from Naxxramas, and again, you will probably need to have an achievement in order to then be able to start getting it. And it's probably going to be BOE as well, so you will, you will be able to buy the recipe directly from the auction house. But really, this item, I think, is going to be extremely nice because, again, it looks super nice. And there's going to have a big focus on uh, Naxxramas, so a lot of people are going to try to get their different transmog uh, around this theme and as you can see for instance for the different cloth players you will be able to look like that uh, because this chess piece will also be added into the game so trust me people are probably going to all look like that after a few days so this one i think is going to be really really nice again it's difficult to say right now but i do think it's going to be one of the best items from patch 10.1.5 and this is again a cosmetic so it means that anyone can use them so that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, keep in mind, it's always nice to diversify what you're selling on the auction house. So while I do think cosmetic items are a great way to make some gold, you should still also try to do other type of activities and have different type of items on your auction house. Still, there are so many of these items. So let me know also if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to maybe do a part two. 
I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.